somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back over there is diamond dave damone this is the appleton oak that's the answer i'm mason quinn folks today we are getting back to peaky blinders this is episode five and what a ride it's been oh, i cannot wait to see where we go from here freddie just got arrested and i'm ready willing and able to find out what happens that's because paul was aunt paul was quite pissed <laughs> Yeah, we had a lot go down last episode. A lot. Will he do? <laughs> Things are getting messy. So Can't lost. You so lost. <laughs> Let's go! Oh. It is nice to see that this is uh, kind of based on loose events yeah very loosely this is what my yeah. understanding is i yep. could be wrong maybe it is fully true yeah real gang and yeah. past the mills past the steps 1889 to 1919 oh tommy flanagan they cold just added him right is that a real grave or is that a is that a hiding spot grave yeah, question. <laughs> yeah that's it's a valid question What's Aunt Paul going to do in this one? She's going to kick some ass, probably. <laughs> She's going to just boot the door down. Or if that's one of them umbrellas that it has shoots. like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Penguin, you know, with a yeah. knife. Ah, that's right. Oh, we're thinking Kingsman. Oh. Open up, love. I brought oh, more things for you and the baby. Got some fresh eggs and bread. Oh, yeah. Shoot, little one. Babies don't have principles. <laughs> Yeah, looks like she's not really using too much of that stuff. Mm. Should have took the deal, Freddy. Oh, man, Freddy got his ass oh, beat. Oh, they worked Freddy good. Not as bad as Stanley. Yeah, remember, he fell Clearly. down some stairs. <laughs> did you speak to her? She didn't speak back. Well, did you tell her? I'll only tell her what I know to be true. It's the last time I'm going to say this. It wasn't me who shot Betty Thorne. I'd ask you to swear on the Bible, but you can't swear on that, can you? Nothing you hold sacred. <sighs> Come on, we know he didn't. Mm -hmm. That should be good enough. There's the environment there. right there. There's tea. A new system. Everything in the diary, eh? Black Star, what does that mean? It's the day we take out Billy Kimber and his men. No one knows this. Not even your family? Grace. Everyone in my family hates me. Why would I tell them? <laughs> oh. Which explains... Well, now we know why... He's telling Grace things, yeah. Bloody neighbors, John. Snitch behind the curtain. Yeah, well, if you think that, you're the only one who does. Unless this, that's him putting up Bloody front again. Right, yeah. Who's running this carny? Name of Marsden. Ah, carnies. Nobody in small earth crept in a pot without the decree of Tommy Almighty. <laughs> Mr. Marston, I believe. The ringmaster. The ringmaster? Man wants to sit in storm up with fellas lamping each other. He needs himself a license. A license? For a fee. From those in charge. I'll tell you what. I've had to keep my money, and you shove a license up your ass, crack. <laughs> <laughs> and who the bloody hell do you think you are? Good morning! Hey, not a shelby! Dad? What? Hey! hey. He said, Tommy Flanagan is in the credits. Jesus. Oh. Thank you. You're a good boy. I just didn't know what character we'd be getting him as. Best the father for these bounties we're about to receive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please, woman, <laughs> let me. Finish your sandwich and sling your hook. You'll know him as Chibs later. I'm the guest of the head of his family, so why don't you maybe tend to your mangle or your scuttle? They're the family I do. Tommy, uh, he sometimes helps me with, uh, with business there. Hey, well, speak of the devil. How are you, son? Get out. Oh, oh boy. This family needed you ten years ago when you walked out on us. Tommy, it's different. You shut up. Quite soon you become. Boy, son. He's a selfish bastard. 
You calling someone a selfish bastard? I mean, thanks to you. We're already down a bloody sister. You want to see him? You go with him. And that's that. Hmm. Here's the plot thickens mm. with the family. <clears throat> Taking five pounds from petty cash, your watch. Countess and leave a receipt. Arthur, there are things in these books I don't understand. Law cause. Every week we pay one pound ten shilling by postal order to a, a Daniel Owen in London. Danny Whiz Bang. Hangs around the pubs in Camden, Sam mm. Wharf for us. Yep. Keeps his ears open for business. He's a good man. I thought Danny Whiz Bang was dead. And you thought wrong. Oh, God, just everybody's spilling it to her. Now that was a show to satisfy the wops. Tommy just shot some sheep's brains at him. Oh, no. He's buried in his grave. Uh, oh. Don't do it, Arthur. Oh. Uh, yeah, we totally we totally missed that in the beginning. You don't ask questions about things that don't concern you. Never. Right. Finally. That's for you. Don't tell Tommy I took this. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ugh, well, uh, everybody. Like Tommy's not going to notice right. at some point? And everybody just spilling their guts to Grace. Well... Yes, but now he kind of put a. He did, a yeah, stop. he kind of put the but, kibosh on yeah. it at the end after he already said about Danny. You know, I'm sure the, Danny. I'm sure the Italians would like to know that. The boy needs a good hide, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I'm Polish close to giving him one. John and Ada, too, so I was like. Ah, John Barnes on bloody principle. But if you saw his missus. Ah. You have a girl yourself, son? <laughs> Perhaps when it says Tommy, eh? Mm. Ooh. It's been different. You know, since the war. Yeah, well, the war can change a man. Speaking for myself, anyways. Where did you fight, Dad? Uh, all over, son. All over. Yeah, all over. All over. <laughs> <laughs> Casinos, money factories, son. There's a fortune to be made here. The Shelby. Casino and hotel. <laughs> Gents and dames will come flocking from all corners. Would all of us be kings? How much? How much to get started? Uh, don't. Let's bloody do it. It would make my heart beam, but I don't want to cause any discord between the brothers. So please, why don't you talk to Tommy? Oh, is he playing him like a fiddle? Tommy's not the only one in the family with a need for business. And she'll be money. It shall be money. I thank God <laughs> for my wonderful sons. Oh, God. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna just, blow up so bad. He's just gonna take all of it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Hopefully. Oh. On your feet, soldier. On your feet. Oh boy. Oh boy. What's well, I want to fortune, Dad? Come on, boy. I'm old enough to be your father. Oh boy. Oh, he's laying him in. Oh <laughs> gosh. Jeez. Is that all you got for? Oh. Arthur's not much of a fighter? Oh. I just think he doesn't want to be fighting his dad. Well, at what point are you gonna That's Arthur Shelby Jr. My son! I love him, and I'm proud of him, and I can find any one of you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you did good, sir. You did good. I love you, Tom. I love you. Oh, that boy. Oh, this is not I just feel heartbreak well. coming yeah. out. Now I'll buy into my pyramid scheme of a hotel. <laughs> my name's Burn. A few months ago, a man named Ryan came to this place with a view to buy some goods from you. Mr. Ray met with an accident, he was shot. I heard. He was a man with a quick mouth. I know that. I wondered if he made any enemies in here. None that I know of. All are welcome here, Mr. Byrne. Including Irish? I was especially Irish. Ryan told you he was a member of the Irish Republican Army. Ooh. In pubs, sometimes people say things. Sometimes it's the whiskey talking. It's hard to tell which is which. He was my cousin. I'm from South Armagh. Bryce? Bring some water and cordial to the snow. Yes, Mr. Shepard. 
Look what you did, Grace. My cousin came to buy guns. And I told him I have none. Your man Danny Owen talks a lot when he's drunk. He says the Peaky Blinders take the guns. Robbed from the factory down the road. Like I say, sometimes it's the whiskey does the talk. Does Grace know who that is? I'm assuming she does. Danny also says he sees German infantrymen in the back of milk carts. And he shoots them with his broomstick. We have men on the BSA factory. They say to you, Asm. Every finger in this city points in one direction. Please don't mistake me for a fool. Just slam her right back. Mm. My cousin was shot. I am judge, jury, and executioner. I find you guilty and I pass sentence. You deliver the guns to me, or I deliver death. And hell's fury to you. No. Oh. <laughs> this is gonna get good. Let me confess something to you. And only to you. I have the guns. But they have become a burden to me. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden for the right price. Ah, I was hoping it was more of a shakedown than uh I'm just saying, hey, what price? He sells them to the IRA, then tips off the cops, uh, gets the money, solved. gets the money. Winston Churchill gets his guns. Everybody's happy, right? Well, not everyone. Good. Lucky bar, brigade commander of the Scythe Army. Uh, right IRA. there. Yep. Letting Campbell know. You hooked yourself a big fish there. These guns as bites, and was what we'll catch. Can you deliver them? With your help, no one word put out in Ireland. I was not involved. So I'd be solving a problem for you. And I'd be winning you that medal. If I get a medal, I will have your initials engraved on the <laughs> backside. <laughs> Who gave you Freddy Thorne? As everyone in the city knows, it was you, Mr. Shelby. Hmm. <laughs> 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 God, Sam Neill, I like you so much, but I kind of hate you in here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Don't look at that stack of cash he's going to give him. You'll never see him again. We're going to build something with the sun. When do we sell that? Hungry for work, are you? Yeah. Ship sails Friday. Meet me at the boxing ring. Oh, it's Friday. He's going to gamble it all in the boxing, probably. Something stupid. He's gonna build the hotel. No, he's gonna be. He's gone gonna gamble it all yeah. away, or he's gonna be gone. He's gonna be gone before Friday. And then Arthur's gonna have to tell Tommy he gave all the money to. Yeah. Dear well, old not dad. all the money, but the bulk of uh, a lot. Of, I shouldn't say all the money. I have no idea how much money they have, but he gave a lot. See, why are they men gonna come through that door when they have what they want? They plan to kill me. It's your job to stop that happening. Could have given me some more warning. When I make a toast. You're gonna come out with that thing raised. You don't shoot, you just point. I'll do the rest. You killed him? No, the police want him alive. The police know about this. Just hold it up. Right. <laughs> and she, oh, and she's like God, a little dude. Did you see the look on her face? <laughs> she was ready. <laughs> Willing and able. Oh. All oh, this setup. You know, back here. If damage is done to either side, it's now concern of ours. They don't seem to care too much. No. no. But Campbell may want him alive, but they don't care if yeah. they... They want him alive, but they don't care if they both get destroyed. Oh, nice water for him. Just show us where. Give me the cash. I cannot go this smooth. Oh, and he's still got to make the toast. For Grace to know. You thick tinker. Do you think we'd let you live? Make your pace, Mr. Shelby. I won't waste my own way. <laughs> oh, Grace no. is going to have to do it for real, I bet. She's got to blow these guys away. To barmaids, you don't count. Oh! oh, she, oh. oh she did! Oh! oh, oh. 
He said, wait, let me do it. Yeah. Oh, or, I'll do the rest. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Well, he had it pointed on her. Oh, oh Grace just got hit. Well, the guys outside had to hear the gunfire. Well, the cops did say... Or they the weren't going to come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever happens is of no concern. Does he actually have him? In, oh, he's got his jacket over him. Yeah. No way, Tommy. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to have flashbacks. Yeah. Oh, there you oh, go, Tommy. Oh, you gotta fight dirty. Oh, oh, that was oh, oh again. two of them. Uh, three. three. Oh, oh, now he's uh -oh. gonna wear him out with that. Oh, he's already running. done. He ain't stopping. Yeah. Well, now we got three uh, IRA guys that have. Uh, met I was their just demise. gonna say, yeah. dude. We have one was maybe a coincidence. Yeah. Now three. three. <laughs> oh. One of them being their big wig. <laughs> Grace, <laughs> just <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> oh. oh, he sees what happened to her, too. And yep. <laughs> Why did you shoot? I didn't know how to did me like that. I didn't... You've seen me. And you've seen me. <laughs> I'm sorry. And they're in love. Yeah. Well, for him, as he didn't want her to see that side of mm -hmm. him, he'd been trying to keep that. Yep. Oh, fancy seeing you guys. Oh, Wait. and they know he knows about that about Grace being that informant. Yeah. They refused to surrender. They fought well. They were brave men. Well, he knows, like he was killed by a wild an animal. Still, this never happened. Who cares? Get the bodies out of it. They're making the lady uncomfortable. I'll leave you two lovebirds to it, then, eh? Oh, this guy. He's Because he's going to report that back to Campbell. Yep. I wonder if this is going to make Tommy think that this is Camp Campbell, but it's not Campbell. Yeah, where it's like everything's just a Or maybe it is Campbell, and I'm just not oblivious. You know, just yeah. maybe it's oblivious. I'm being too well, oblivious Well, would to those it. guys operate against Campbell's orders? Kind of doubt it. Well, the one dude kind of yeah. was giving, sh you know, him yeah. shit last well, time, right? The IRA guy told him he had people on the police force. Too, yep. So. Yeah. He's got fingers everywhere in the yeah. city. Yep. Oh, good call. Thank you. I'm sorry. But I also think he wouldn't have cared if all three of them were taken yeah. off. He would have probably been happier with yep, that. Yep, because then he'd have the that's location one, to the guns and everything well, else. Well, I think the, that's not the actual location yeah. of the guns. I think it was just a fake yeah, on the map. Be. I don't think Shelby is let anybody else than what his uncle that knows where they are yeah. are. I think they're going to be the only two that know where they are. But he knows that Danny might, be, might have been running his mouth while he's been drinking. Well, we'll find out here. Yeah, letting Danny live doesn't sound like it was the best move for business. Sergeant Moss made a report, which of course I burnt. <laughs> he said that when you entered the room, you were embracing. Is that your primary concern? An embrace? No, oh, my, my, my concern is for your welfare. It was me who killed them. I had no control. You've been living with beasts. I can relate. It was beasts that tried to stop <laughs> me. Yeah, see, he's pointing ah. those two, not this one. <laughs> I'm the good one. I was in your general direction. No. I believe last night something inside me changed. I no longer feel the need to avenge my father. Oh. The hatred that I brought here with me is gone. And therefore my reasons for joining the service. I want to resign. I think our mission has come to a natural end. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Huh? I think I know where the guns are hidden. Oh. You do? If I'm right and the guns are found, you have no more business with Thomas Shelby. Is that not so? I want your word. That Tommy Shelby will not be harmed if the guns are recovered. Your word as a gentleman. Will you give it? Now, why would you want to save him? In his way, he has been kind to me. Sentiment? Yes. <laughs> Sentiment. Lerv? <laughs> Lerv? <laughs> You're too good hearted for this work. So, for my sake, will you spare him? I'm so conflicted Don't. with Grace. She... You have my word. Oh, uh, oh yeah, there, right. That word is as good as a. Pen. A week after the robbery, there was a burial at St. Andrew's Churchyard. I have found out that the man supposed to be buried is alive. 
I learned that the funeral was attended only by the brothers. The guns are buried in that grave. And tonight we will dig up that grave. When my family I know he, thinks... I know he was saying she has a good heart for the job, but, dude, she blew away two IRA yeah. people. Yeah. Calling she can handle out the job. The earth. I just don't think the guns are there, though. I don't think so, either. I, so then what I is I don't dumb? know, man. They're... Lost oh, look at that. Wait for the stab. Shit. Stretched on your grave. And I'll oh, lie Ada. here. It is not going well for everyone. I'd be sure they would not sell my up. Oh, damn it. Uh, my bride. They were well, there. She did connect the dots, so. I'm going to cover it back All up. All but one gone accounted for. Oh, we know that's coming back. Yep. Then, sir, I resigned my commission. So, I am no longer... Your superior officer, and you are no longer my subordinate. It's arresting you for the regulations to, permit me to arrest her. No, to offer you this. Ask her, uh, yeah, marry her, him. Holy shit! He's been in love with her the whole time. Oh, I thought he was going to arrest her for the, the two IRA agents. Gentle man, but a good man, and my admiration for you has turned to love. Bro, she's a third your age. <laughs> I don't ask for love in return. Just recognition that we are like minds. He's like he's like Leo. Dates younger. Bro. Hey, Steven Tyler. <laughs> My heart belongs to somebody else. Now it's going to get personal between him and Tommy. Welcome to Splitsville. Population you. Uh, Mr. Ah. Campbell. Oh. Ah. Oh, oh, you thought he was going in <laughs> <laughs> you did the Are you telling oh. me it's not me, it's you? <laughs> Is it him between us? Is it the beast, that dog, that grave? Is it him? My resignation will be with you in the morning. Oh boy. Just just you could have just said no, I just don't have those same feelings for you. Nothing that, to do with Tommy, who not, I absolutely love and adore. It's not, nothing to do with him. That's not Grace's style. Hey guys. Hello, son. <laughs> I gave you my whereabouts. <laughs> Mars said you left him last John night a bill for your horse. At least we got to say goodbye, son. How could you do this to us? Well, if the truth be told, I'm not so acquainted with that promised land as I had thee believe. <laughs> Playing them from the Damn. start. You give me back my f money. Do not despise the thief who steals to satisfy his starvation. That's in the Holy Bible, son. And I have starved for so very long to fare thee well, son. Oh, wow. Should listen to Tommy. Damn, poor Arthur. A wise. Mm -hmm. Finally, fuck! Listen to me, boys. Put your hands on me again. I'll cut your throat and spread you on these tracks. Jeez. <sighs> the blades. Ah, oh, man. Shit. Knew that Poor wasn't going to end well. Where's your father? You just had the, uh... You know where he is. I'm assuming he's frishing away the 500 you took from us and put into his thieving, whore-graping hands. How dare you do something like that without talking to Thomas or me? Who's told me now? No. <laughs> but you're going to tell him. Oh, oh no. No. <sighs> And a great victory. A terrible consequence has been avoided. Those guns that we dug up will never be used to murder the innocent. Or usurp uh, the status. Oh, yeah, you're gonna notice. This man who dug this grave has also dug his own. He has proved a deadly menace. And tonight we will strike him down. We will drive our sword through his black heart. We will rid this city of his kind. Justice will be done and will be seen to be done. Oh, Campbell's got a fire lit underneath him now. You look after yourself, Jeremy. I'm gonna be gone away for a while. Right, go. 
Oh, he knows he's got to go. My name is Arthur Shelby. Who dare fight me? Go on, lad, before you catch yourself a spanking. Didn't even take him seriously. Well, I'm wondering if he has an inkling as to what his dad did to him and how drunk he is. Let's give it to Tommy Shelby by name. I'm gonna have to lie low for a while. Why? I lost my bargaining power. It's cop, but it's just me and him now. Harry said the police are already in Digbeth. Yeah. The police are in the line, Tommy. Oh, oh she's gonna get him up. I see it. He went against. The Campbell went against his word, so now she's going to help. Yep. I still think she's going to take out Campbell. I don't know. She's a very complicated character this season so far. Oh, day late and a dollar short, fellas. Things were so and so good. This guy gets blinded by love. They're both blinded by love. Tommy, too. This mm -hmm. is true. This is true. I'm looking for Thomas Shelby. Never heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> On your knees. <laughs> Understand this, Burman. Well, he's done so anyway he if he talks. With a ball, mate. Oh! Take oh. that, Campbell. I think going to place. Oh, I think he's gonna pull the. Tr oh, wow. I thought he was gonna snap right there and just still pull the trigger. Call it off. Down all the stunts, uh, we should find the bomb. Right? We'll see. Call it off. Get it. And it was that he, easy because he, if he goes there with Tommy, he's gonna have to take in Grace, and he doesn't want to yeah. do that. Oh well, yeah, because he's in Lerv too. Yep. The old love triangle. Who's gonna go there by himself? You want tea? Tea, no. I have rum. Actually, tea it is. <laughs> want to impress me? Yes. And do you have a biscuit? No, they attract mice. People look different at home. In what way? Off guard. Should I be on my guard? No, I'm a man who drinks tea. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, the tension, Oak. Mm. The tension. You know Campbell's going to be busting knife. through the door any minute. With a knife. Well, Campbell wants to come and bust just, her out. Just Tommy. Yeah. He doesn't want to do anything and So he her. doesn't want to do it in front of her because he gave her his word. No, no, no. Campbell wants to come and ruin it all. Campbell's going to tell Tommy that she was a work on the inside. To oh, hurt see, Tommy. there's another way of doing it. That's another yeah. angle. That's what he's going to do. He wants to hurt Tommy the way she hurt him. him. Yes, I'll tell you till morning. Well, it doesn't doesn't mean they can't have fun until morning. I mean, well, and bro's gonna be there a lot sooner than morning. I yeah. can still dance. Um. Yes. What did what was the uh, phrase in poor things? Pillowing. Pillowing. Nope. Furious jumping. Furious yes. jumping. And there I'm you about go. To be asked promptly. <laughs> Christ, can I have this dance? You guys, lady. you guys should know by now that Tommy's a gentleman. My lady. Oh, just creeping. <laughs> he wants confirmation. He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tommy, oh you boy. thought it all was in love. Well, Campbell. Any minute now. You know, you shot your shot. <laughs> <laughs> some win, some lose. You just lost, bud. Will you help me? Help you with what? With everything. I found you. And you found me. Well, not, this is getting boy. She's not who you think she is. Yeah, but she resigned. Yeah, so this is just... She could be with him. Yeah, but there's still the history. Oh, that's that's why just, he's in this whole mess. Just leading to an explosive know, guys, season one finale. She got Tommy out of a bad situation, right? So maybe that Tommy will see that and forget about the betrayal. 
you know. Bury me. Oh. Bury me. Arthur. Poor Arthur Jr. Maybe she'd change that name. She should go by AJ. <laughs> but no. Oh, no. Ah. No, not that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, Arthur. no. Arthur, no, no. don't. No way. He's going to tip that thing over and be unsuccessful at it. Whoa, Arthur. Holy shit, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Is he going to snap? It looks like I thought it was breaking. Come on. Oh, it's going to snap. Yep. Oh. Oh. It's going to be old Churchill. I have news. I have very good news. Tell him the business I came to attend to is now complete. I'll be leaving the city. What? Oh. One matter. Oh. I need to tidy up first. He slept through the night without his yep. opium. Yep. Oh, look at that. Chipotle told you. Yep. <laughs> He's going to be a totally different guy. Just some things are starting to go right, Arthur. You try and do this. Your name on a business card. Arthur Shelby. So should Mike. You are one of three shareholders. And according to the law, we are equal partners. And it is written in the paperwork in black and white. Well, me and John were quite fancy splitting your share, so just <laughs> next time. Use a gun, man. <laughs> <laughs> His own unique oh, way to try to make him laugh. That couple is leaving town. Better the clear. Well, <sighs> we all on the way up in the world, brother. I don't know about in the clear. Believe me. Yeah, we got one more episode. Yeah, I mean, what are you uh, talking about? This, this feels like the season finale, right you would here. You think, but we all know it's all leading to an explosive sixth episode. Because you got Freddy, you got Campbell has pro has got something to tidy up first, yeah. and everything with Grace. Oh, oh, I like this camera shot. Eventually, we need to get Ada oh, and that wait. baby taken care of. Yeah. Okay, maybe is this a little bit into the future? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fade to black. Yep. Oh! <laughs> God. Yep. <laughs> that, <wow>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Pretty uh, big episode there. Yeah. So that was Peaky Blinders, <laughs> season one, episode five. And wow. I said it just before it ended there that this felt like the season finale because everything looks like it's wrapped up. Everything looks like it's on the up and up for Tommy. Everything seems like it's going in the right direction. But what we know is underneath the surface, everything is a complete mess. Like, let's not just gloss over the fact that three IRA guys are now dead and they're going to be looking for answers. Mm -hmm. Grace has been an amazing character this season. I'm very conflicted on her because it's she is the the cause and the solution of all of Tommy's problems. <laughs> essentially, uh, everything that's happened has been because of her. But yet, Tommy is improving who he is because of her as well. So it's an incredibly conflicting thing that I'm very worried about how this is going to play out because. The further Tommy goes along now, if he, I suspect the way these shows go, and maybe it's because I've seen things like Sons of Anarchy, Breaking Bad, that I got a feeling Tommy's going to go down a dark path and he's going to become 
way worse than what he is now. And what I'm worried about is when he finds out what Grace did and who she really is, how is he going to react to that? Uh, it was great seeing Tommy Flanagan, uh, as we know him as Chibs from Sons of Anarchy. Answer will eventually he'll he'll probably get there. But uh, you know what a great actor, what an amazing role. I think all four of us kind of uh, immediately had our uh, kind of danger danger sensors kind of going off when he was in the the room and selling Arthur Jr. on this whole. You know, oh, this whole dream of casino. starting a casino, doing everything with the brothers. And it's the typical thing you see from a slimy salesman. <laughs> They're trying to sell you on something you already want and that you're, you already need. And he picked up immediately on that, that Arthur was playing second fiddle to Tommy. He wasn't really in charge. He was didn't have his voice heard. And Arthur Sr., completely played him on that to get what he wanted out of him and then to eventually leave uh, of course we saw how arthur jr dealt with that and luckily for him uh grace turned it around for tommy and put him in a better place so now he's dealing with things totally different made him a, an equal third partner in the business like I said, everything looks like it's going well, but it's incredibly far from it. Campbell is out there with his own personal vendetta now against Tommy. Uh, and of course, it's because of love. Why wouldn't it be? That's the usually how these things go, right? But an amazing uh, first couple of episodes. Well, an amazing Oof. first five episodes here. I can't wait to see what happens with the finale because I'm really conflicted on how that's going to play out. Like I said, we... Seem to have got a little uh, little bit of a time jump here just to see that everything's going well with the Shelbys. They're doing the gambling. You know, I'm thinking maybe a month or so at most is all I'm thinking. The time jump probably is here because they're running things well with the bookies. But we're going to see how things play out in the in the finale. I can't imagine it's, gonna, it's not going to be a banger, so we shall see. I think it's going to go with uh, them taking out Kimba. Because remember, he put the black star on the calendar as yep. to the day they're going to take him out. Still that. So I'm wondering if that's what the final episode is going to lead to, and what did you know Campbell mean by you know I'm I got one loose end. Well, it's got to do, it's got to be something to do with Tommy, right? So I'm definitely interested in the sixth episode of or in the season finale. You're right though that this one did kind of seem. The way it ended, like it was the season finale, but I like how it's not because cause, cause then you're going to the season finale not knowing exactly what to yeah. expect. You know, we're waiting for all this to happen, but now we know an explosion is coming, whether it's Campbell. Um, I'm thinking that they're going to do something with Kimber. So I, I think that's where this is leading to because they're going to try it because they're not working with Lees. Does Kimber know, though, they're working with the Lees? You know, you have that whole wraparound. Yep. You still, I'm wondering about, you know, obviously the IRA. So also with that, who does Tommy believe sold out the, the pieces to Campbell? That's what I'm saying. Because who sold out Freddy? Who sold out the guns? Yes. Who, who told him everything? Yeah, because he saw the grave, yeah. obviously. Who all knew about the grave that Tommy did? Because... Tommy has to think, well, it could have he said it to the IRA, they could have maybe saw the map or maybe said something. He said get a shovel. Maybe they're following him. The IRA could have been well, doing it. I think it. they made a yeah. point of saying that Danny's been shooting off his mouth. They everywhere. they made yep. that Danny point wouldn't that have known, known where they were, yes. were buried. Yep. Because I only cuz I mean, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments as far as I knew it was well, what they said was they went to the funeral and it was Tommy and his brothers, but they didn't know about the guns to begin with, too. And uh, then, there may have and been. And then it started trickling Maybe down. people speculated when it was just Tommy and it his brothers that went to the funeral. Yeah. So they might not have known the guns were They might not there, have known exactly. But if it was common it was knowledge, too. hey, these four guys went to the Yeah. The Everybody knows the Peaky Blinders have the guns. They just didn't know where. Yeah, yeah. he said yeah. everybody in the city, would, yeah. which also to know the IRA has, they have a finger in every part of the city, so they can be involved in anything, which adds a whole, a whole other aspect. What are they going to do with Freddy in the next episode? Are they going to try and get him out? Are they going to try and clear his name or something somehow? What are they going to do there? Is he then going to finally take Polly's uh, advice and go away with Ada and the, and the child? Because that's a whole other thing we have to worry about. But this episode is really good. 
Uh, we all knew from the get go that Arthur was not a changed man, even though I'm a, Ar- I'm a ch- Arthur Senior. Arthur Senior, I'm yeah. a changed man now, and it, like, and she, <laughs> Paul saw right through yep. it. Like you could see the smirk on her face when he came in, yep. when Paul know that he, that he took the money and ran. Like she just already knew, just sitting there reading the paper. Didn't even hardly look up. No, and then just said to, he should have discussed it with me or Thomas. Does he know? No. Well, you need to tell him. And you know it drove him to drink, and then, and then what happened? Where the rope snapped? I was, I'm, ho- I'm hoping that then for Arthur that gives him Arthur Jr. Our Arthur is what I'll put it as is that gives him like um, clears his mind so that he can focus more on what he needs to do moving forward from what he was trying to do. So I was hoping that that can help him see things clear and so that way he can move forward and be successful because right now as they're showing him, everything is working out pretty good and he's got a third and i mean thomas did say that uh john wouldn't mind splitting his third so this was a good episode i'm definitely ready for episode six that's for sure fellas i implore you to shoot your shot there's no harm in that right as long as you do it in a respectful hmm. manner but just because a woman is nice to you, <laughs> especially in a professional capacity, does not mean she is interested in you, or certainly not. <laughs> hey, not he me. was respectful. He waited till she resigned yeah. that she wants to marry you, <laughs> but he was so like taken back. And and I don't recall any like look. And obviously things happen off screen. I don't recall a single scene where there was any sort of interest whatsoever implied <laughs> or seen or anything no one else. between Grace and, and Gamble. None. Buddy, I don't know what signals you were looking for. <laughs> well, he figured he was a big hero, and now she'd be impressed with hero. him. After, after She's he, the one who's the hero. <laughs> after he gets his medal from If it uh, wasn't for her, he wouldn't have had shit. <laughs> yeah. had nothing to go off on. Yeah, good guys. I shouldn't say good guys because I'm gonna back that. I'm gonna I'm gonna step back here. Guys who fancy themselves as good guys because there's a big difference between good guys and guys. Who, I'm I'm a good guy here. <laughs> they get extra upset when their love interest goes for the person that they think is the bad guy or less the bad de- boy, less deserving or willing. Um, they always love the uh, bad boy. The nice guys always lose. <laughs> eh, oh, they are just you who's losing. He's a man of law and order. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, we've seen how nice he is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. In any regard. He fell down some stairs. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, this last episode, he said he's got one more line of business mm-hmm. to take care of, and uh, I think it's Thomas Shelby. Uh, and I think my prediction is that he is going to bust out Grace and tell Thomas because I think he wants. He, look, he wants to. He wants to hurt Thomas in a way that he wouldn't necessarily be able to do by just arresting him for the things he's doing. He wants to. He wants him to know that, you know. Put the knife in the heart. Yeah, the, yeah, he the, emotional, the emotional pain instead of the physical. Now, yeah. of course, if you're Grace, you can say, yes, this is what it started at, but I also resigned, and this is where we're at, and so whatever. I still love you. Incredible, incredible writing here again. Um, man, we love Tommy Flanagan, but he came in and oh. just, uh, just did Arthur Jr. dirty, you know, and you want to give him the, the benefit of the doubt for a minute at first, and then he starts spewing stuff about casinos and hotels, and you could Beach see a, property and you could see Arthur Jr. was just, you know, all bright-eyed and, was, and all about it. Everything he um, wanted to hear. And Mason mm-hmm. would nail yeah. it. Like, you know, you find somebody who's a little bit desperate in their situation, you tell them exactly what they need to hear, and it's, uh, it's a shit move, and... But I think it's going to, um, I think it's going to strengthen the bond between Tommy and um, and Arthur, you know, because Arthur's going to be able to look at Tommy and say, hey, you were looking out for me from, you know, the get go. And even when I did something really bad and took a bunch of the family money, you still, you know, went in, split the business and everything like that. So. Yeah, this was a really another solid episode. I am very concerned also that we now have three um, members of the IRA and uh, presumably people that were pretty high up that uh, have uh, met their demise at the hands of Thomas Shelby. 
So, grace. well, and twice. grace. Two, right. two twice. for grace. Twice One by for grace, Tom. yeah. So um, I don't know that that's just going to go away, but um, incredible, uh, again, incredible story writing. If they did kind of wind down episode six and kind of take us into the next season, I'd be okay with that. But I, uh, you know, uh, I think episode six is going to be, I think that's the one that's going to pop off. So I'm really excited to see uh, see where this goes for yeah. the next one. Yeah, we got a real, uh, in. well, you n- most likely know more than we do at this point. But for us, we just mm-hmm. took in a different side of Arthur Jr. I was not really expecting him or even thought, and I guess you could say that comes in real life too with, you know, loved ones, friends, whomever. But when he took the jump rope, I didn't immediately think that mm-hmm. was going to yeah, be gonna the, opt next, out. Yeah, the next steps. So just to see where his mind was at at you know in that state i'm just wondering you know were there signs before that we just weren't picking up on yeah i mean i think this whole season he was playing second fiddle and always kind of clear he was always put his place and kind of shut down so i think he felt pretty worthless and that that probably could be i just thought it was uh impactful for arthur's arthur jr's character in this one because now we got an inside look i'm kind of with you answer on that i'm hoping now I don't want to say he forgets it because it's probably he's he, obviously he's dealing with some inner demons and mainly from what I've been taking in so far the main one has the backstabbing of his dad. Oh, he did not big want time. yeah he did not want to believe that his dad was going to do it again. Tommy told him not you know basically uh, in a roundabout way then go. Uh, he, he was supposed to be here ten years ago and whatever else Tommy said in there right. He just wanted to believe so hard that. His dad was gonna be a a dad now, and I can now I understand why Tommy and Aunt Paul were definitely <laughs> the way they were when they saw him around. Um, it definitely made me feel for Arthur uh, for sure. So now, the and I, I feel like that moment between Tommy and Arthur probably. And you guys let me know, and of course you too. How did you guys take that? I took that as one. It's subjective. I feel like in that situation where Tommy was talking to Arthur right there and he said you should have used his a piece mm-hmm. right yep. i felt that was his roundabout way and it's i know some will say that's very insensitive considering what he went through but given the time and the way that Tommy and his brother are i feel like that was the roundabout way for him to try to crack a smile Absol- a little bit uh, so, absolutely and and yeah. i think it started too with the yeah, yeah. The, and he made he made the show. Hey, me and John would like to take yep. your share. So next time, yeah. you know, so yeah, I think it was absolutely levity. Yeah, I mean, not. I think Arthur was probably expecting Tommy to come in there and wail on him or run him down or do something. Yeah, and, and well, that's he, what he asked. Yeah, you, you, and you he know? didn't do any of that. He was supportive about it and just moved past that because I mean, five hundred dollars while it's a lot with the business, the time. way the, the business, the way things are going. It's not the end of the world, you know. It isn't like he signed over the deed to the uh, to the gambling license or something like that that they got, or however they the license that they have. Well, so yeah, I definitely think that he I, wasn't I, expecting to be supportive. Yeah, I think it was also just Tommy as he's grown as a character, well, too, well, that he saw Grace. Well, yeah, I was but, just but gonna I was, say. I mean, it could be, but it, he could also see. Yeah. He could also realize like how hard and stuff he is on him. Money can come and go, but remember, they've always family. been family. And the Shelby's always stick together, so I think that was part of it too. And then maybe he also realized, uh, look, yeah, I've been putting. He, we're all equals. We everybody's always saying, "Go to Tommy, go to Tommy." Well, what about you know the other two? So then I think that's why that card too meant so much. Well, let's mm-hmm. also not forget that Tommy just um, you know had uh, look obviously you know the connection with Grace and um, and everything like that. But I think it was a lot more than uh, I shouldn't say. I think. It was a lot more than just the physical thing that they showed between those two because they made a point earlier on in the season. And I forget what the exact quote was. I think it was, I hope the sun wakes me before the shovels mm-hmm. do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so he's been having all those nightmares and hoping that, you know, he can sleep through the night and the sun wakes him up in the morning and they show him there in the, in the bed sleeping with the sun on his face. Mm-hmm. And it's like, when was the last time he had a well, truly peaceful sleep? And, you know, he even said, you yeah. know, he didn't, he, he didn't said to the shovels. 
But Twitch dude, that, Chris, I had no idea what yeah, he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, that scene with him sleeping with the, the sun shining on his face, that was incredibly powerful. So the headspace he was at when he went to go talk to his brother, a completely different headspace. And so he had that, that, that night with Grace, and he went in knowing that he had heard from his people that um, Campbell was leaving. So it's not like Tommy went in after a, a bad night, an angry morning or whatever. Mm-hmm. He was in... Things are looking up. High Things are very much looking up for for Tommy at the time that he, um, you know, he went in and and uh, sat there with Arthur. So you know, Tommy was kind of at a, at a high, and Arthur was at a low, and so it was. I, I think they kind of needed each other at that point, or at least Arthur certainly needed Tommy to be in in that you know headspace in order for him, him to be able to. I'm kind of forgive him for it and say, hey, we're going to move past this. Yep. And I'd like to think, too, Tommy probably probably would have been somewhat that same way, regardless of what happened the night mm-hmm. before. I would like to think that, but yeah, that's... who knows? Maybe he would have been mad if he didn't have that. Yeah, because it seems, like when, not sure. it seems like when Arthur would screw up before, Tommy would be like, oh, I told you not to do that. Why didn't you just listen to me? You went out and did it yourself, and look what happened. I got a feeling that that's what the conversation would have been had Tommy not plus I think involving their dad I think maybe that's why too he wasn't too because they've probably all been burned by their dad so why harp on them when well, they've all right. yeah. faced if, that if you take to your point Quinn it probably would have been that way if you take out the opting out incident right mm-hmm. but because of that I think that was his way of showing a compassion yeah kind of towards it but uh for Grace Grace now has two IRAs on her <laughs> bingo board taken out. Uh, I can only imagine now because they made a point in the writing for that one dude uh, to say that he has a lot of stroke. He's judge, mm-hmm. jury, executioner, and all that, right? So they made a point to show that. So I don't anticipate anything IRA in the next one. But as we go through the seasons here, it could, I'm pretty could sure we're going to have yep. some issues uh, maybe mm. popping up. And if it does not happen like that, I would be wildly surprised if that was the last time we see the IRA. So yeah. I just can't believe with the way they've been writing everything that that's going to be the case. Uh, Campbell, what a wild card he is. Mm-hmm. Every single time uh, he, he promises one thing, does another. Depends on what And then the guy, in. yeah, his, his sergeant, his sergeant whatever, lieutenant, yeah. or yeah, whatever next his man, was. his right-hand yeah. man is what I'm going to call him. I feel like he is kind of with Campbell, but then he knows that he can get away with whatever he wants. Yeah. That's and how I feel about it. I think but he I knows the wrong. territory a little bit more, so. Yeah, and I, I'm also hoping we uh, get some uh, Aunt Paul, Ada, and the baby situation handled more in the next episode because we just got a quick glimpse to remind us that Freddy got Freddy's around and he got his ass whooped. Yep. Quick little uh, catch up in the beginning and end that uh, Ada is struggling with the baby and refusing anything from Aunt Polly. Yep. So I'm hoping in the next one we kind of touch a little bit more base, which most likely is going to happen since mm-hmm. they focused on other things in this one yeah. overall looking forward to episode six yeah and i also Wait. i also can't believe this is the last time we're gonna see arthur senior either because that snake's gonna you, turn up looking for more cash yeah again. you know it's gonna snake comes around more than once you know and i can't imagine like hey we need a guy for this character to do one episode i'll get tommy flanagan yeah we'll, we'll use him for a one-off well ah, this was season no one he'll and- be back uh 2013 2013 i believe in a I think Sons of Anarchy ended 14. Could be wrong. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. But so maybe yeah. it. That's a one off. Maybe. I got a feeling we're going to see him again. I, I, I'm he's going to be sure needing some cash and he's oh, going yeah. to come look Oh, because remember. He, yeah, he's, he's not doing well. He, he needs some he's, cash. Because he, he's going to be. Well, he's going to be starving. That's yeah, what he is. Oh, yeah, yeah, the character. Yeah, the character. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the character. Yeah, you see Tommy himself. Yeah, Arthur is the tone of Tommy and he's like, Tommy needs cash. Oh, well, I should say that. Well, maybe he does. You don't know his lifestyle. But hey, this was a lot of fun. We cannot wait for the season. One finale. So for Diamond Dave Elton Oak, that's basically when I'm of course answerable. Catch you on the next one, pals.